Game Hub Lite version 4 is finally here, and it's bringing some serious improvements. This update focuses on performance, better device compatibility, and even smoother emulation overall. So in today's video, we're going to check it out in action. I'll walk you through the setup for those who are new to Game Hub Lite, and then we'll test it using GTA 5, this time on default settings at 720p. In our last video, we tested Game Hub Lite version 3 and managed to run GTA 5 on a mid-range Mali device at almost 60 frames per second, which was pretty impressive. Now in version 4, the devs have focused more on improving performance stability and fixing black screen and crash issues. So let's see how this version holds up in actual use. Let's start with the setup. Once you download GameHub Lite v4 from the official GitHub page, you'll notice it now comes with multiple variants, like the main build, the Ludashi version, and Tutu version, and even a special PUBG version. For most users, I recommend going with the main version, as it's the cleanest and most stable. After installing, just open the app and you'll immediately see a much smoother and faster interface compared to version 3. The developer has also cleaned up unused files, removed telemetry from services like Firebase and WeChat, and even fixed the battery percentage display and Russian language bug. All of these changes make the app more optimized, especially for low-end or mid-range devices. All right, now let's head straight into the game settings. Now, click on the icon in the top left corner. From here, go to the game section. Next, tap on your game, then click on the three dots. Dots, then open PC game settings. In the general tab, look for the resolution setting and set it to 960 by 544. Now go to the compatibility option and set the compatibility layer to Proton 10 Arm 64. Next, set the translation parameter to extreme. The GPU driver will be set to default for Mali, but if you're on Snapdragon, select the latest turnip driver instead. After that, set the DXVK version to 1.7.2. Finally, set the CPU translator to effects. And that's it. This was a quick setup. Now, let's jump into testing GTA 5. So, this time, we're testing at 720p default settings, with no graphics tweaks at all. Just raw, out-of-the-box performance. As you can see, the gameplay is running surprisingly smooth. Even though this is a demanding open-world game, the performance on the Dimensity 1200 is really impressive. The frame rate stays well above 30 frames per second most of the time, even when we're driving fast or moving through crowded areas. What really stands out here is the consistency. There's almost no stutter, no random lag spikes. It just feels steady and responsive throughout. And remember, this is running on completely default settings at 720p. No graphic tweaks, no custom config files, just the stock setup from GameHub Lite version 4. This shows how far the emulator has come in terms of optimization. It's using resources efficiently, keeping the GPU clock stable, and managing thermal performance quite well. Even on a Mali-based GPU, which usually struggles with heavy scenes, you can see how stable it remains. Overall, the gameplay feels smooth, fluid, and very playable. Whether you're exploring the map, driving through traffic, or just testing performance, version 4 definitely delivers a more balanced and stable experience. For a mid-range device, that's honestly pretty impressive. So that wraps up our quick test of GameHub Lite version 4. The performance looks solid, the gameplay is stable, and overall it feels like the most optimized version yet. If you've already been using version 3, this update is definitely worth trying. Especially if you're on a Mali device, since the stability improvements really make a difference. That's all for today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and lets me keep bringing you more performance and emulator-related content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.